Welcome to the Healthy Kids Minute. A mold is a living organism. Spores will float around in the air, and that's sort of what causes illness. Dr. Christopher Chang is the Division Chief of Allergy and Immunology at Nemours Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children. He says there is often a lot of myths surrounding the types of illnesses that can be caused by mold. We know they can cause allergies. We know they can be a trigger for asthma. And, they, and, and there are people who get infections from mold. And they can also cause a hypersensitivity, for example, in the lungs and in the sinuses. Beyond that, however, there are a lot of other bad things that have been attributed to molds that have sort of been a fad for a while but have never really been proven scientifically. Dr. Chang points to the so-called toxic black mold that has received so much attention as a prime example. It was a great fear back in the early 2000s, perhaps the late 1990s, that black mold was, uh, was this killer and, and the toxins that are emitted from uh, black mold actually caused all sorts of different types of illnesses. Um, it turns out that that really wasn't substantiated scientifically by various studies. Very good studies have not have, have failed to substantiate the whole black mold uh, hysteria. But for allergy sufferers, the effects from mold can be very real, which is why Dr. Chang says for them it should be avoided. It presents as you know typical nasal symptoms, usually or eye itching, um, sneezing, runny nose, all the types of allergy symptoms you would attribute to allergies to like a pollen, for example, hay fever. We consider mold allergy as a perennial allergy. In other words, it can occur any time during the year. This has been the Healthy Kids Minute.